Jerry Tipton, we'll go to you next. Olivier, there's been uh, quite a reaction to you guys taking a knee uh, during the anthem at Florida. So some of it negative. What would you say to the people that are uh, not happy that you guys did that? Well, you know, um, we understood that our gesture will have consequences and and I, we just want people to understand, you know, we we know that some people will be, be mad or pissed at what we did, but we just want people under, to understand that it's just a, a peaceful way to, to protest in, in the way we can using our platform. And we just want people to understand, to raise awareness. And, and that's it. Can you elaborate a little on what, uh, what you guys were protesting against? I'm not saying that like I don't know, but I, in your words. I mean, I think our action speaks for itself. You know, I mean, um, what we, what happened in the past past few few days, few weeks, and and even during quarantine. I mean, it's just we just want to show support for our community and raise awareness on the you know the things that happened um, lately. But it's just it comes from like you know a piece of a place of understanding, peaceful, and, and just having conversations and being open-minded. That's it. Larry Vaughn, you're next. So, so Olivia, I take it from what you, you were saying that some of the negative reactions did not surprise you guys and did you all talk about that there may be reactions just like that? Um, I mean, we didn't talk about it. Obviously, we knew obviously that people would react a certain way um but i mean as always you always do something you always have some people that are pleased and so some people that that aren't and and we just made our decision as a team and most importantly is everything was okay with it and and that's something that we wanted to do and unfortunately some people are not happy with it but um like i said it's just we just want the best for everybody we want peace and we want people to understand everybody. So is that something y'all plan to do again? Can you say that again? I said, is that something that you all plan to do in other games going forward? Uh, we'll see. We'll see what we do for other games. But um, I mean, whether we do it once, twice, every time, um, our mind, our focus is on, on that on that gesture and towards these these issues at all times. John Hale, we'll circle back to you. Olivia, we've seen with some other programs that have kneeled during the anthem, I think even Florida on Saturday had one guy do it, that it's been a couple of players here or there. How important was it for you all to do something as a group, have everybody make the same decision? Was that part of the conversation or was there ever a point where it might have been a few guys and, and other guys who didn't want to do it? I think it sends a, a big message. You know, we're we're a unit, and that's why we want this country to be. We are all together in it. And I think what was really powerful was uh, Coach doing it with us. Coach uh, stood with us. Uh, he took it um, with heart. He did it for for us, for for the cause. And and I think it's just showing that we're 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 all together in this. And even though some people might disagree or anything, we, it's just we just want to be treated equal. That's that's the most important thing to to get out of this really and then just as a quick follow-up but you seem to have a, a really unique perspective on this having lived in the u.s for several years now but growing up in france in a different country just how has that kind of shaped your views on this and adjusting to the american culture just what has kind of been your observations versus where you grew up um you know it's totally different but not really at the same time i think people here are more engaged and it, it helped me realize that I needed to do more um, with what I have, with the platform that I have, the the opportunity that I have. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn, educate myself. Um, it's something that, that is not happening just in the US. Uh, I need people back home to understand that um, these issues are happening too in France. Um, it's not just in America. It's not just something outside of the borders. It's, it's happening in your country, whether you're in France, in Europe, in, in the US, or other parts of the globe, you always have minorities that are being um, treated not as equal as other people. And that's, that's something to, 
I'm in a position, we are in a position to, to raise awareness and that's what we're trying to do, but it's not just, you know, talking, we also need actions behind it. Jared Tipton, we'll circle back to you. Yeah, Olivia, you mentioned that uh, Coach Cal also taking a knee and the coaches sent a message in, in itself. Can you describe uh, when you guys met with Coach Cal, his his take on the idea of uh, kneeling? He was all for it, you know. He asked us, do you want me to kneel with you guys? We said yes, and he said I would do it. We, I mean, he will support whatever we do, and, and that's that's big. That's really that's important for us. Yeah, I saw one of the protesters uh, basically questioned Coach Cal's manhood. He said that if Kentucky had a real man as coach, you draw the conclusion that wouldn't have happened. Uh, how do you react to that? What do you think of that? I mean, I didn't understand exactly what you said, but um, what's most important is, I mean, I don't care about outside opinions of other people. I mean, it's we we're all in this together as a team in here and that's we count on everybody else i mean we count on everybody in this in this program um whoever got other op opinions on that i mean it's okay we all have an opinion and we're just i'm just proud that coach stood with us thank you you guys obviously made a powerful statement together with kneeling together uh, at the game, which has caused various reactions. But in, in your teammates sort of explaining the why of it, um, it, it's sort of been sort of vague about uh, you know the, event, the the recent events of last week. I wonder for you personally, what was the most disturbing thing that you saw over the last few days? Uh. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I actually deleted social media. I just re-downloaded it because yesterday was my birthday, and I had to post a picture. But I haven't really been like feeding into like the the comments and stuff. But what everybody been saying is uh, it's been some good and some like bad comments. And I mean, we're just trying to make a like a peaceful protest, uh, trying to get through to everybody that like we need equality just like everybody else. Like, uh, I mean. This is a great country. Is this like I feel like, and we feel like everybody, uh, like minorities and stuff, don't have like the equal rights as everybody else. So I mean, that's what we like protesting, and that's why we knew uh, this for a peaceful protest. Uh, just to be more specific, I didn't mean the the comments and reaction to you oh, all. I meant what did you bad. see in in the events that happened in, at the Capitol uh, that have been kind of referenced um, that that most disturbed you. Uh, I seen, it was a couple of things, uh, like I seen the noose, like I felt like that was like, that was just out of pocket. Like that's just something that people, I, people shouldn't do. Like, like, and I feel like people had their own opinion, but that's just like, I feel like that's just out of pocket and them just breaking in is just, is, is just crazy to me, but yeah. Larry Bob, we'll come to you next. Uh, I just wondering, will, will this be a distraction going forward for you guys preparing, or do you just kind of block out the noise and it's not a big deal? Uh, I feel like we're just gonna block out the noise. Uh, we've been on a three-game winning streak, and hopefully to keep that going. Uh, we've been playing like, like perfect, like the last couple of games. I feel like, and I mean, we're just on a run right now, so. Just gonna try to keep that going. And did you guys talk about that there likely would be a lot of negative reaction to what you did, or did you just not worry about that? I mean, with the world we living in now, like I think everybody knew, like, because at the end of the day, like people gonna say what they want to say. Uh, it's like anybody can do what they want. It's a free country. Like you say what you want, you can do what you want. So it's like, all right, we already knew, like everybody pretty much. John Hale, go ahead. Isaiah, I asked Olivier this too. How important was it for you guys to make a, a unified kind of statement and everybody kneeling? We've seen some other teams where it might be a, a, a few players, one or two. I think Florida had a guy, just one player. How, how important was it that you all came to this as a group and that it wasn't kind of piecemeal here and there? Uh, I feel like that sort of shows that we're together. 
uh, as like we're just a unit, like we're a whole unit. Uh, like even the coaches did it, so it's like it just shows that we like unify. Like every player gets like where we coming from and what we're protesting for, and I mean it shows on the court as well. So.